Alright, this video is going to go over quickly how to calculate consumer and producer surplus given a change in supply. If you'd like more detail about the math, please visit my other videos where I will go over the math uh, in more detail as well as what is consumer and producer surplus. But for this video, let's start with this before the shift. Now we know that consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve and above the price so it's this area right here we know that the equation is one half base times height so the base is five height is five so five times five twenty five times a half gives us twelve point five consumer surplus is twelve point five producer surplus is going to be the same one half times height times base is going to give us that 12.5. Now, what if supply increases by $2 at every quantity level? So, I show our new equilibrium quantity at 4, our new equilibrium price at 6. So, our consumer surplus is that same area, well not the same area, but below the demand curve and above the price, consumer surplus. It's going to be one half base, four, times height, four. So that's 16 times a half, or eight. Our producer surplus is above the supply curve and below price. So base, four, height, four as well times a half is going to give us eight. So by having this increase or this decrease in supply, say input costs increased, or maybe this is a tax or something else, for whatever reason, having supply decrease has caused consumer surplus to change by 4.5. 12.5 minus 8 and producer surplus has declined by the same amount so in total our economy has lost nine dollars say so if something causes supply to decrease a cost of inputs or whatever else we see a real surplus loss or an economic loss in our economy